What is going on everybody? Back with another video. Uh, today's going to be a drawing video and I know I don't do these too often and uh, a lot of you guys uh, actually subscribe to me for my artwork. Uh, I decided to do uh, something different this time rather than um, uh, showing off my clip with the music I thought I'd narrate it myself which is kind of odd and weird for me since this is the first time I've ever done it this way. Uh, I tried to talk while I drew this but you know what uh, two problems. One is since I'm going to time lapse it you would never hear the audio anyways. Uh, the second thing is that I found out that I could not draw and talk at the same time. So apparently I don't have that skill. But uh, what you're looking at is just the preview of the of the actual finished product right now. And I'll have a higher res photo at the very end. Now here we go. We, I begin to start drawing. And uh, what I'm using is a, a H pencil, which is a hard lead. And I'm doing all the outlining. And uh, as soon as I get the outline and the basic shape of what I want to draw, in this case this being the rose, I start off in the very center of it and I work my way out. So it's much easier for me to do that because I have a, uh, a good reference point. So, and usually if I start things in the center, if I need to adjust the, uh, the proportions around it, uh, it's much easier to do that than having to draw on the outline of it and then trying to adjust the portions inside. So um, while you're drawing, you might want to think about uh, com like contrast. So if you have like nice darks and, uh, and light areas and, and, and create that contrast, it gives you a good feeling of depth and uh, kind of really pops the drawing uh, you know, out off the page for you. So you can tell right here I'm just using a blending stump combined with the, uh, an HB pencil to get the dark uh, tones I need and then going back with a 6B pencil and then adding more darks, uh, dark areas and, uh, you know, more cross hatching and, you know, just basically fine tuning the drawing. Now, I try not to go too fast, even though it doesn't look like it in this video, but to, again, just bear in mind that this is a four hour drawing. So I would, I do recommend taking, uh, if you're drawing something that has a lot of detail, uh, just go in and just do it one part at a time. Just take it apart bit by bit and, uh, you know, just kind of really scrutinize and look at things and, and, uh, oh, and by the way, I did look at a photo when I was drawing this. So, um, I had a reference photo. Uh, and then just like really, really go in there and, uh, you know, just really work at it and uh, try and get all the tones, smooth everything out, whatever. Um, and of course, it also depends on what kind of effect you're going for. So if you're like more of a, um, what do you call it? like a, if you're going more for like photorealism, then obviously, um, you know, you'd be doing what I'm doing right now. Uh, I can't say I've, I've uh, attained uh, ultimate photorealism yet, but uh, I'm, I'm working my way there. You know, I learned, I learned new things with every one I draw and, uh, but I think the real uh, important thing is that you have fun at doing it and that you have the patience uh, to, to just keep at it and just draw and draw and draw. And like everything else, you know, drawing, a lot of people ask me whether or not it's like, a, you know, a gift. And, you know, to be honest, I don't really think it's much of a gift. I'm more, I think that's more like a, um, uh, a skill that you can develop. It's like much like riding a bike. You know, if you, if you ride a, if you, you're, nobody is born knowing how to ride a bike. But once you start riding a bike and just keep practicing, you get better and better at it. And I think drawing is the same way. If you did not have a natural affinity, affinity for drawing but you like drawing just keep doing it you know don't be discouraged just keep doing it over and over again you know as long as you enjoy it that's what's important and of course you'll learn new things along the way so uh, here I'm, I'm shaping out the leaves right now and then you notice I went in there and I erased a bunch of the lines I had before and redid them only because again as you draw you you change your proportions as you go so this is just one way of, uh, of, uh, of doing it and I basically use what I've already drawn and rendered to kind of shape and adjust the proportions of the other stuff around it uh, which is uh, which again I bring back to my first point it's very important to do uh, you know draw from the center out or have a good reference point to start I mean I, I know a lot of people like to jump all over the place but you know it's better to kind of take it, um, you know, uh, in a logical, I guess, a logical uh, step, you know, so the leaves here were, were uh, kind of, kind of hastily drawn. I didn't really spend a lot of time on them. So, um, so this is why it, it goes really, really quick here. For some reason, I got really bored when, after I started drawing the, uh, got the main part of the rose done, I just kind of went through here, but, um, you know, so I'm just putting in all the all the details as quick as possible, the veins and the light and everything like that. Uh, coming in with blending stumps, and I have like uh, toilet paper as well. Actually, I use some really soft toilet paper to, to kind of rub in and smooth out all the all the areas, and then rough in some more uh, details. So. Uh, I think this drawing is coming to a close right now. And here's the high-res photo of this. And, uh, you know, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Any questions, comments, please post it below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all later.